Hi, hello, namaste. How are you all children? Hope all are fine at home. That's good. At the same time, hope all are following the English classes. That's great. Yes, let me welcome you all to this English class, third session, standard 8, lesson number 1, that is Tenali Rama. Yes, my dear students, in my previous session, I was talking about the shloka at the same time I spoke about positive words in order to get the success and today in my session I just want to tell you about a wonderful quotation about APJ Abdul Kalam yes please look at this slide just observe this yes here it goes when your commitment is deeper than the sea when your commitment is deeper than the sea and your ambition is taller than the sky, then your future is brighter than the sun, my dear students. This quotation is said by APJ Abdul Kalam and it is a wonderful inspiration for us. Yes, why did I say this one? Because get that positive energy, get that positive vibes in your life. Yes, so that you can always think about success. That is what the quotation is all about. Let me repeat once again. When your commitment, yes, have a strong commitment that you have to do something in your life. That's what, when your commitment is deeper than the sea and your ambition is taller than the sky, then your future is brighter than the sun, my dear students. So, as said by APJ Abdul Kalam. Yes, let's recall what we have discussed in our previous classes. Did you remember children in our previous class I was discussing about the lesson? Yes, Tenali Rama. That was a wonderful story, right? Yes. I think I have explained about the continuation part of the story in which King Krishna Devaraya came to the house of Tenali Rama in order to see Tenali Rama's wife. If possible, he wanted to take her to the royal doctor. Afterwards, when he reached Tenali Rama's house there was a surprise for him what was the surprise so yes the stranger to whom Tenali Rama had given shelter was planning to kill the king Krishna Devaraya luckily with his great sense of presence of mind Krishna Devaraya caught him did you remember children yes in this session we will be discussing about the conclusion part of the lesson what happened what happened after after Tenali Rama visited the court of Krishna Devaraya and what was the conclusion? Even in our previous session, we have discussed about the opposite words. At the same time, we have discussed about the definition of noun and the examples, definition of pronoun and the examples. And also, did you remember children? What, what, what did we do in the last session? Yes, I have conducted the activity based on the noun. I gave a letter and asked you to write the name of a person, place, animal and thing. Did you remember? Even I asked you people to do that one as a group activity. That's good. Afterwards, we have also discussed about the activities on preposition and then I gave the home assignment. Hope you have all done your home assignment. Right? Yes? Let us see the assignment now. Yes, what is the assignment that I gave in my previous session? I gave the four pictures. Just observe the images. One, two, three and four. And I asked you people to expand the story. Yes, the session was talking about the stories only because we were discussing about the story of Tenali Rama, right? Yes, I gave these four pictures and I asked you people to develop a story, expand a story. Have you done the homework children? Yes, isn't it a wonderful pictures? And the story is also very nice. Hope you are familiar with the story. 
as soon as you observe the pictures you can able to make out this pictures are about the story of greedy dog that's good let us see the story now everyone if you just observe the first slide the first picture it it goes like this the dog is running with a bone just observe the picture my dear students see there the dog is running with a bone to a safe place to eat it has to cross a bridge in the second picture in the second image says it is supposed to cross a bridge and in the third one can observe the dog looked down and saw its image but thought it was another dog how wonderful now that's what the word reflection i think we have discussed about this word in our previous session even the meaning and the sentence if you just observe this one the dog looked down and saw its image but thought it was another dog it barked at it what did it do it barked at it and lost the bone and it was foolish it was its foolishness yes so in my previous session related to that one i gave the same uh, uh, story that is about a foolish woman that foolish woman has killed the hen in order to get the golden eggs you know so at that point of time i said don't behave foolishly think wisely that was the message here also same thing let us see the story now the expansion part of the story is like this just observe the slide everyone one day a dog was searching for a food here and there one day a dog was searching for what food here and there at last it got a piece of bone from a house he kept it in his mouth he did not want to share it with anyone see that is what the thing we need to observe here the dog did not want to share it it refers to the bone with anyone that is why he running with the, to a safe place to eat it afterwards what happened on his way he had crossed a narrow bridge yes it has to uh, cross a narrow bridge over a small river while running over the bridge it looked down see this is what the interesting thing we need to observe just observe the sentence over there while running over the bridge it looked down and saw its own image that is what we say it as reflection in the water it thought that there was another dog with a piece of bone so that is what the thing with a piece of bone in the water he wanted to get that bone also so what did he do he barked at it he barked at it and suddenly the bone from his mouth fell into the water so what happened over there the foolish dog could not understand how he lost the bone the foolish dog could not understand how he lost the bone he became sad and walked away in search of food again yes this is a story about the particular title that is greedy dog but what we are supposed to remember here see in in my previous session i have given uh, i i told about every story has a message yes that we need to understand here also we are supposed to remember that greediness brings sadness greediness bring, brings sadness in kannada we say ati aase gati geditu anta thumba ati aada aase manushyanige irubardu anta kanthade ee ondu kathaya saramsha makale hope you have understood the story and even the message from this one yes let's go to the glossary words now before going to the lesson let me just introduce a, a few glossary words okay the first one is if you just see uh, see over here the first one is crowd crowd means a large number of people gather together in a disorganized way so gumpu ant heltivalva that is the meaning crowd a large number of people gather together in an disorganized way is the meaning of the word crowd and the second one is gathered the meaning again over there only come together or assemble or accumulate and the third one is service what is this the action of helping or doing for someone is a service remember these important words because once we turn the pages of our textbook these words are there in the lesson and you are supposed to understand where exactly these words have been used and the meaning of those words 
and the next one is realize yes what is this to become completely aware of something as a fact that means understand clearly realization what we say it as realize understand clearly that is the meaning of the word over there and the next one is sought attempt to find or achieve something that is the meaning of the fifth word over there and now let's go to the lesson part my dear students i request you to open your textbook go to page number second this this is the last part of the conclusion part of the lesson as i told you before that we have discussed about a stranger came to tenali rama's house wanted to stay for two days and he was planning to kill krishna devaraya in the absence of tenali rama he wrote a letter to king K king krishna devaraya that tenali rama's wife is not feeling well so as the king had a great respect for tenali rama's family he himself came to tenali rama's house but there the surprise was the stranger had a plan to kill the king krishna devaraya but the king had a great presence of mind and he was escaped from the danger and caught the stranger now what happened is the next part of the lesson now what happened tenali rama has to go to the royal court and has to talk to the king krishna devaraya let us see what happened afterwards are you all ready yes children that's great then take out your textbook and see the page number over there in in page number 2 there is a conclusion part of the lesson yes he began to shout at tenali rama yes once the incident has over tenali rama had been to the court of krishna devaraya and he was just folding his hands and standing in front of the king over there if you just observe the slide the picture over there then he began to shout at tenali rama what is that how could you give a shelter to a stranger how could you give a shelter to a stranger shouldn't shouldn't you have tried find out something about him this is the first word said by the king how could an intelligent man like you make a such a grave mistake just observe this one everyone how could an intelligent man like you make a such a grave mistake the word grave here refers to serious mistake king krishna devaraya asked two question to him what is that what is that one how could you give a shelter to a stranger whom you have don't know anything about him and the second one is how could an intelligent man like you like you refers to that is tenali rama make a such a grave serious mistake but tenali rama could not able to say a single word and he was just folding his hand and standing in front of the king krishna devaraya without even uttering a single word there next let us see what happened afterwards then tenali rama did not say a single word the king said it is because of you it is because of you that an attempt was made to kill me and so you must be punished the king was in an angry mood he was in a fury and he wanted to punish tenali rama and he said and the punishment will be nothing else than death sentence now tenali rama was scared and he could not able to say a single word he was just holding his hands and standing quietly in front of the king again the king continued what did he say tell me now how would you like to die he was in an angry mood again he continued and said how would you like to die now tenali rama started to say some word he said politely he said calmly what did he say just observe here he said of old age said tenali rama calmly your majesty i wanted to die of old age as soon as he said the word old age the king burst out of laughing because he was a man of great sense of humor in the beginning only we have learned about tenali rama he was a man of man of yes a great sense of humor and a knowledge yes as soon as tenali rama said of old age your majesty he said the king burst out laughing he was pleased with tenali rama's quick answer quick wit he cooled down the king became cooled down but when he realized what mistake he was about to make in his great anger he shuddered see this is what the very interesting thing when we get anger whatever the decision we take that will be something wrong so that is why at this point of time i just want to tell you my dear students remember remember don't ever take any decision don't ever make any promise
two things let me tell you don't ever promise when you are happy don't take any decision when you are angry hope you have understood the meaning over here is that clear yes so now the king has become cool and he has realized his mistake what he was about to make in his great anger now he shuddered after that the conclusion part of the lesson says like this he quickly sought tenali rama's forgiveness and tenali rama said what did he say he said we are human beings after all your majesty your majesty we are all human beings so we all make mistakes sometimes of course we make mistakes because we are human beings but i promise i promise that i do not repeat this mistake again that was the conclusion part of the lesson at the same time we have to receive a message and we have to remember of course humans makes mistakes we are the human beings sometimes we, we do mistakes but always remember my dear students don't ever repeat the same mistakes again and again that means we need to correct our mistakes this is what the wonderful message from this particular lesson that is tenali rama hope you have all understood the story of this lesson isn't it really interesting students yes fine that's great let's go to the next part of the lesson now yes in your textbook page number 3 you have a uh, questions like this that is read the following extracts taken from the lesson and answer the questions these are all reference to context like we say generally who said to whom like at what context has been said something like that you know these are very interesting and even when you go to the higher classes you will face these kinds of a questions also in that sense you are supposed to remember the above extract is taken from the lesson so and so written by so and so so this is the the right time that you need to understand about these reference to context yes just observe the first one it is because of you that an attempt was made to kill me so this particular sentence has been taken from the lesson and now the question is who said this one to whom and what was the context and here they have also asked the question just observe it is because of you that an attempt was made to kill me who does me refers to here just observe the answer me refers to the king krishna devaraya yes who has made the attempt to kill just recall i have explained about the story that a stranger yes had come from a far place he was uh, he took a shelter in tenali rama's house with a plan to kill the king krishna devaraya and even that stranger has been sent by the neighboring king right hope you have remembered the story again Yes if you know that one you can easily answer these questions here it is because of you that an attempt was made to kill me me refers to king krishna devaraya second question who made an attempt to kill the king obviously you know the answer that's good the stranger the stranger made an attempt to kill the king fine who does you refers to you refers to obviously tenali rama it is because of you you refers to tenali rama me refers to krishna devaraya and who had made the attempt the stranger has made the attempt see if you just look at these uh, words you can easily make out or elicit the story of the lesson let's go to the second one the second question is like this how could an intelligent just now we have explained just now uh, we were uh, we have discussed about this particular statement how could an intelligent man like you make such grave mistake just see observe the sentence everyone how could an intelligent man like you make such a grave mistake who asked this question the king krishna devaraya asked this question am i right is that correct yes you are getting my point you are getting the answers that's good yes next one who was this intelligent man here yes this man is refers to Tenali Rama obviously in the beginning only we have studied Tenali Rama is known for his immense knowledge and sense of humor that's good and in the next one what was the grave mistake Tenali Rama allowed the stranger in his house is the grave mistake the word grave here means serious just recall what we have discussed in our glossary words did you remember yes very good so you just tally out and you, sh- you should you should uh, relate it yes this is a word that we have already learned in a glossary word and the answer is over here that's good let's go to the next one yes 
uh, again uh, in, in your uh, textbook page number 3 there are some comprehension questions okay I want you to note down and also follow the answers quickly okay yes if you see the comprehension questions the first one answer the following questions in a word or a phrase or a sentence they have given the heading there the first one is who came to Tenali Rama's house one day yes will you answer this question children isn't it very easy that's good I, th I think you are very familiar with the story so that you can easily say the answer yes who came to Tenali Rama's house one day yes immediately the answer is that's right a stranger yes what is the meaning of the word stranger the person whom we don't know Aparichita Vekti I think uh, I have explained when I was explaining about the lesson over there good a stranger came to Tenali Rama's house one day is the answer for this question I want you to copy down quickly second question what did he ask for he asked for a shelter for how many days for two days yes I think in our first session we have discussed about this one one day a stranger came to Tenali Rama's house and he asked him that he will stay here for two days because he has come from a far away place so Tenali Rama readily agreed so I think we know the consequences there so afterwards uh, that, that particular stranger has been sent by the neighboring king in order to have a plan to kill King Krishna Devaraya. Hope that particular paragraph you will get an answer for these two questions. So when you see the comprehension questions, go back in a paragraph and find out the answer. So you will find the answers in a paragraph only. So do that work in your textbook. So let us go to the next one. The third question is, why did he want to stay there? Yes, why did that stranger want to stay there? If you see the answer over here, he wanted to stay there because he came from far off village and he was very tired. At the same time, he was sent by the king of neighboring kingdom with a conspiracy. There is a word called conspiracy. Okay? Yes, like plan, evil plan, like plot we say. Planning to kill the king Krishna Devaraya. Let me read the answer, just observe, if possible, copy down quickly, my dear students. Yes, he wanted to stay there because he came from far off village. He was very tired and was sent by the king of neighboring kingdom to kill the king Krishna Devaraya. Is the answer for this question. Is that clear? Have you understood everyone? Good. Let's go to the next question, fourth one. Who wrote the letter to the king? Yes. Who wrote the letter here? The stranger wrote the letter to the king. Yes, that was an opportunity. I think uh, uh, in, in the second or a third paragraph it is there. In the absence of Tenali Rama, the stranger wrote a letter to the king saying that. What is that? Yes, what, what, what did he write in the letter? Saying that the Tenali Rama's wife is not feeling well. That's good. You have remembered the story. Huh? Very good. Nice. So here the stranger wrote a letter to the king. That is, the Tenali Rama's wife is not feeling well. So, next fifth question. How did Tenali Rama express his wish to die? Tenali Rama wished to die of his old age. I think in the, in the last paragraph it is there. But as soon as Tenali Rama said, of old age your majesty, immediately the king burst out of laughter. So, that is the consequence. Of course, you have understood the story and you will be able to answer these questions and quickly note down all the five question and answers. Is that clear my dear students? That's good. Yes. Again in your textbook in page number 4, uh, there is the one activity that is rearrange them into meaningful sentences. Yes my dear students, this is where your uh, actual vocabulary lies. Where you exactly uh, know, frame a sentence by using these re, like, like we can say jumbled up sentences. Yes, there is one particular example just see there. In the first one they have given to king, a, uh, sent, he, letter, the. If you just uh, go through this one, there is no proper meaning. What do we have to do over here is that we need to reframe it, rearrange it. That means we need to frame a proper meaningful sentence. So again here we need to remember a sentence must consist of a subject, a verb and an object. Okay. So if you see the first one, had, to, he, bag, his, forgotten. That means he had forgotten, he has forgotten to take his bag is the meaningful sentence did utter he word a not see the question see the words there so you need to rearrange it he did not utter a word is the meaningful sentence big gather a 
outside house its crowd and sees a big crowd gathered outside his house that is the meaningful sentence for the third question yes the fourth one not say word a uh, did he so these are all the jumbled uh, words my dear students don't get confused you need to rearrange them rearranging into a meaningful sentence is a wonderful vocabulary activity that means you should know how to reframe a sentence as i told you before that a sentence must consist of a subject and a verb so based on that one you have to rearrange think about it so which should come in the beginning and then the verb and then the object or then preposition or etc like that okay if you see this particular word not say word or did he he did not say a word he did not say a word fifth one kites have they beautiful made they have made a beautiful kites so these are the examples that is there in your textbook go through the textbook see the exercises and copy down the answers fine quickly let's go to the next one frame questions to get underlined word as an answer so the first one tenali rama's wife was ill so that underlined words has to get as an answer that means you are supposed to frame a question by using wh words like what why where how when whom etc so now whose wife is ill tenali rama's wife is ill the second one is where did the stranger hide behind the main door so in the third one what did he ask for he asked for a glass of water so then what was the fourth one uh, where is my bag my bag is on the case and the next one is why did he go to market he go to market to buy some fruits so this is again a wonderful activity in order to frame a uh, questions so one should have a great uh, ability to frame questions it seems okay so this particular exercise make us to uh, remind and even to follow how to make use of the wh words that is asking questions and let's go to the last one that is uh, home assignment my dear students just see all these three questions that is there in your textbook in page number 3 uh, answer the following questions in two or three sentences okay the first question is what did the stranger request tenali rama then what did the stranger write in the letter and why did the king became angry with tenali rama so this is what the questions you are supposed to answer and note it down in a sheet of paper then show it to your teacher okay that's good so with that let me conclude my session and let me tell you once again don't waste your time just involve yourself in one or the other activities and involve in your educational process educational activities and moreover i tell you one, once again let me repeat once again let me remind you once again daily open a dictionary and write 10 words and practice half page handwriting with that let me conclude myself mr rahman ali working as an english teacher government higher primary school budugumpa koppal district koppal taluk thank you so much everyone